The chickens have come home to roost, and the left approaches meltdown. This week, Attorney General William Barr, a respected veteran of the Justice Department who seeks neither fame nor fortune from this position as Attorney General, appeared before Congress. In a straight-talking, no-nonsense response to the loony liberal left circus, he stated in no uncertain terms... Spying on a political campaign is a big deal. I, I think there was a spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. The left went into meltdown stage, doing everything they could to trash Barr. The esteemed former director of the National Intelligence, clueless Clapper, in response to the spying statement, said this. Well, I thought it was uh, both stunning and, and, and scary. Uh, I was uh, amazed at that and, and rather disappointed that uh, the attorney general would say such a thing. <laughs> Their fear of the truth began an all-out attack on Barr's credibility because Barr has made it clear that he wants to be sure that there was no unauthorized surveillance during the 2016 presidential campaign and added, quote, I believe there is basis for my concern about unauthorized surveillance. This, my friends, is what they fear and what they have tried to prevent us from finding out. How did the counterintelligence investigation begin? When did it begin? Who did they speak to to start it? And might it have been nothing more than a bunch of Trump haters trying to stop the man we put in the Oval? Now, you remember Peter Strzok. When he testified before Congress, he refused to tell Congress what began the counterintelligence investigation or when it began, saying it was an ongoing investigation and he couldn't discuss it. And when he was given permission to discuss it, he said he couldn't recall. So, in come the old reliables, Schumer and Pelosi, to trash Attorney General Barr, who holds in his hands the actual scales of justice and who owes no allegiance to this clique of insiders who think they are better than the rest of us. Let me just say how very, very dismaying and disappointing that the chief law enforcement officer of our country is going off the rails. Instead of giving straight answers, Mr. Barr seems to be nothing more than a spokesperson for the president's campaign. He seems more like the president's press secretary than the attorney general. <laughs> but my favorite is Jim Comey. I really don't know what he's talking about when he talks about spying on the campaign. When I hear that kind of language used, it's concerning because the FBI and the Department of Justice conduct court-ordered electronic surveillance. Jim, it's not like anyone believes a word of what you say anyway. But almost a year ago, when asked if it was possible that there was a spy inserted in the Trump campaign, you smirked and said, I don't find it possible, and I know it not to be true. You lying, pretentious, disingenuous political hack. You know it to be true because you signed three of the affidavits for the warrant. And the word spy is actually used in the application. You used Hillary Clinton's fake dossier to take down Donald Trump when you had an obligation to certify to the court before it approves a FISA warrant that the evidence is verified and to alert judges to flaws in the evidence, like the fake dossier. But you did none of this. And not, Jim, that I want to rehash this, but you knew that Christopher Steele was talking to the press. The excuse that you used to fire him, but you actually used the press he talked to to support the application for the warrant. And even you admit the warrant, the dossier that you relied on, was unverified. And you didn't brief presidential candidate Donald Trump the way you would brief any other politician that there might be a foreign agent attempting to influence his campaign. Hell, the FBI even told Dianne Feinstein that her driver of 20 years was a Chinese operative. 
and everybody knows you're supposed to do it. It's just the way things are done. But your game plan was to keep Trump in the dark. Leak information to the New York Times, which information was classified in order to get a special counsel assigned. You were successful in your attempt to get a special counsel, and he blocked questions as to when the counterintelligence investigation began. Your pals got good old Jeff Sessions to recuse himself, and Rod Rosenstein kept it all together, discussing the wiretap on the president and the exercise as well of the 25th Amendment to get him out. Jim, don't act so pompous, saying we don't spy, that the word should be a human source and act like you didn't do what you did. And I don't care if you call it a spy, a human source, an intelligence seeker, gatherer, or a ghost. A spy is a spy. And a rose by any other name is still a rose. And by the way, in that first application that you signed, it says that not only do foreign powers engage in spying in the U.S. to obtain information, but that Russia has tried to influence elections since the 1960s. I'll bet you never tried to wiretap Barack Obama's campaign. You couldn't get Barr to recuse himself, and your liberal friends couldn't either. So the liberal wacko circus will attempt to destroy him. I got news for you. That's never going to happen. The days of no accountability and no consequence are over. Jim, history will not look kindly on you. Bill Barr is everything you are not. A quiet professional, someone who understands that Lady Justice is blindfolded for a reason. The days of lies and cover-ups are over. Enjoy your freedom, Jim, while you've got it. And that's my open. Let me know what you think on my Facebook and Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine.